G'day and welcome to Farming Live Australia. We've got um, a heap of our cows have escaped out of this paddock is where they should be and they've got into the next paddock and we don't know why. So we're going to inspect the fence and find out where they've got through, mend it and then what we'll do is we'll round up the ones that have got out and put them in the correct paddock. So the first thing to do is drive along the fence and inspect it and see what's going on. So I've got one spot here where the top wires, you can see it's been stretched, they've been jumping over, you can see a track to it. So they've been walking here and we've got one old cow in particular that's a real bugger for it and I'd say she's jumped over and the others have followed suit. So we'll fix that for starters. We've checked the fence right along now and the rest of it seems to be okay so the next step is to go and find what cattle got through and take them back to the correct paddock. All the cattle are down here in front of me in a mob and they're really well educated these cattle and they know they're not supposed to be here and as soon as we get going they'll go back to the, where they should be pretty easy really just a matter of giving a bit of incentive and they'll go the dog jumped off the bike and started chasing the cattle he had to come here. Actually, he didn't do any harm. Hector. Did more good than harm. Get but out of Through good luck, not good management. They've gone down into the creek, and it's really overgrown down in here. It's my fault because I haven't cleaned up in here in quite a few years, but it's going to have to be done as soon as it starts come to dry up this year. I've got a heap Good. of load of work to do, and. This is some of it in here now. Come on, old girl. Come on, old girl. Come on. Here I'm trying to get through the creek and the bank. It doesn't look so in the film, but it's really steep and there's roots all on the other side which won't give the tyres very good grip so I'm going at it pretty quietly and my heart's in my mouth a bit because the bike's leaning and it really doesn't show it up here it looks like you're just driving quite level ground but it's not I managed to get through the creek all right and when I got into the open country Pat had the cattle in a mob for me and we put them all together or kept them all together I should say and took them back to their paddock which didn't prove to be real troublesome at all. Between us we worked out a plan and now I've just got to put it into operation.
Now that we've got them all back in the paddock, I'm just going to have a good look around the cattle, check everything out, uh, make sure that they're all okay. One other thing that we're keeping a real good eye on at the moment is that we've got lots and lots of little tiny calves. So here's more little calves there. We've got lots and lots of them and a lot to be born. And they're just the right size for a dingo's breakfast, so we're trying to keep a really good eye on them. I mean, there's a limit to what you can do, but we've still got to keep an eye out if we can. <coughs> Quite a few of these heifers that are having calves, it's their first calf. And you never really know how it's going to go, you know, whether they're going to be good mothers or not. Thank goodness with this breed of cattle we don't have a lot of trouble, but you've still got to, you know, it's something you've just got to keep an eye on all the time. Hector's here keeping an eye on them. Pat's writing down the details of the mothers and what the sex of their calf is, etc. So we keep a record of it all the time. Everything looks to be okay. Can't find anything really too pressing other than the fact that we've got a hell of a lot of cleaning up to do with scrub, etc. Lantana, but the cattle and everything, there's plenty of feed, plenty of water. Cattle all look okay, not in stress. Fences are within reason. So thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.